Hey, what's up, guys? The Jordy here, back again with an air deck and gameplay video for Shadowverse. Um, again, this is with the release of Verdant Conflict, the newest expansion for Shadowverse. So we got a lot of cool new cards that we get to play with. And in this video, I want to talk about Shadowcraft. So Shadowcraft, um, basically, I'm using their Natura support version. And basically, with Natura, they kind of went for the last words route, which is very Shadowcraft-like. Um, your key cards is your Thoth. So basically when you have 10 of your last word cards has been destroyed, so you have a lot of last word followers and the trees, you get the effect that whenever a new follower comes into play, um, you, it gets the last words deal 2 damage to enemy leader. So this is actually really cool because to meet the condition, it's very easy because your deck is loaded with last word cards. And then after that, um, basically all your followers are going to be doing uh, chip damage to your opponent. So you can chip them down. And basically that's how you're just going to win. It's a very mid-rangey deck, so you're going to try to get some chip damage in when you're ahead on board. Um, we have cards like Aisha, um, which could get you some burst damage, like 4 damage of Storm Burst. Um, running 2 copies of her, just so if you draw her it's not too big of a deal. Um, ideally you want to invocate her. And with your last word cards, like you have a lot of cards that gain shadows, so um, you actually your necromancy count will go up um, because this is a mid rangey deck I'm not trying to go for anything like a PTP version although maybe you could try a PTP version of something similar to this another key card Lubel is a new legendary as well to go along with Thoth just a very good mid game card um, gets you these necrofaunas and so it's yeah just in general a lot of strong mid rangey cards in this deck um, so if you're looking to play a Shadowcraft deck Definitely give this a try, very solid to play on ladder or for tournaments. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below which kind of Shadowcraft decks you've been trying right now. Um, have you just been playing like this mid rangey deck? Have you been playing like a PTP? Let me know. And thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time. Against Dragon. Mm. I feel like if we could put enough mid game pressure, you'd get there. But then the thing with Dragon is that... Um, Like, their corrosion start coming in in the mid game as well. So, if it, it's hard to like race them. I feel like the dragon's a little bit quicker. Just mean that's a nice draw. Definitely annoying. Next turn I'd want to um, set up the travel 3 spite to go with my Lubel. So I could get extra Necrofina. I think that's how I'm going to come back onto the board. But yeah, next turn and this turn it's going to be kind of oof. Okay, I could go double travel 3 spite. Give me three necrofinas. Necrofinas. Mm. Is it going to be good enough? Because he's going for vein. I think I want two trees here. Yeah. I've seen a lot of trees already. How many trees has that been? Four. Actually, his turn is pretty weak this turn. All he did was play trees. <laughs>
Do I want to use an evil? Probably don't need to. Alright, so there's the body. How many trees do you have? Five, holy. Stick doesn't really have heal. Probably the best I could do. Okay, my sauce is also active now. Uh, this game was like very close. I think we're dead though. It's like he just needs two more. He needs three more trees. He might not have it. There's like so much that kills me. Even like um, Jansen's dragon would kill me here. Oh, he might not have it. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Okay. So he's just dead to these great trees, I believe. <clears throat> wow, that was close. <laughs> the attack of the trees. <laughs> nice. Against Haven? I think we're pretty good against Haven. Both kind of mid rangey boards. Don't need the dog on one. Get to our back. I keep the Cerberus because it's pretty good on five. I would say Cerberus is better on five than the Lubel. Lubel, you need a little bit more play points to get. Um, Necrofauna value, unless you like set it up with Traveler's Respite. My turn 3 might be dead unless my Deadly Dreamer dies. Yeah, because he just said you have goats here. Get some trees. Hold on to the zero one for your Lubel, pretty much always. My turn four might be weak, like because this deadly dreamer's not dying. So I might actually just travel with respite again and then Lubel on five. It's looking pretty good.
Oh, we can double. Oh man, our turn five of the belly. Okay, that should be really insane. I think I'm going to do that. And I'll bump here. Just to set my turn five better. He might take the trade. My turn five is going to be really strong because I get four Necrofaunas. Plus, I'm going to be cycling three cards. Or two cards, I guess. Oh wow, okay. I guess he's just pushing face. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, that just happened. I'm down to nine. Interesting. Well, we have to... We have to push back. Like, we're down to 9, but could he get more damage? He has, like, a bunch of... I guess he has two evil points, though, so that's kind of sketchy. I'd actually kind of want to evolve the server... Play servers, evolve the Coco, get some 2 health. Is this good? This is okay. Ooh, getting the one ping was good on the Necrofauna. <laughs> that was actually really big, I think. Um, because of board space, I can't play servers plus something else. But the Aisha here might actually be good. Do I want to evolve this dog? Protect it? Mm, I guess it's fine. It was worth considering protecting the dog, but... Mm, the second marksman is really good for him. But I think we're actually fine now at being at 9 health. I actually just prefer evolving the Coco here over the Serb. This gives, gives me like an immediately better board rather than in the long run the pings might be better. My sauce is almost ready. Once these two fallers die. How many trees does he have left in his hand? Like, we have to kill that. Guess he could play like one or two more trees. That's his turn.
Let's just go play in a Cerberus again, I guess. There's nothing too much I could do with this turn. Like, I could play, like, a Magnum, maybe. But... Magna lets me push two more damage, I guess. Another one of these guys. Like being it, I still feel pretty safe at this life total. Because the damage you could do is like twos and stuff. I think now I just play the Viridia. It might have been worth considering um, actually killing this Coco for the two health. It would have also triggered my thoughts. So I should have traded this Coco in first. Cash in on two extra health. Because it might matter. Cause now I might die to the rats, actually. <laughs> if he plays four more trees, he gets up to f five damage. We did. We're not dead. Oh, well, he's conceding. I don't. He wasn't dead on board, but I think he was dead with the sauce and trees, so it's already game. Right.